Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're going to take a look at the Hornet Tech Voyager case for the new iPad. This case comes in three colors, red, blue, and black. It features a brush metallic polyurethane finish, and it sells for around $58 via Amazon.com. Let's crack open the packaging of the Voyager and see what this case is all about. It's a pretty unique case because it combines kind of two different finishes on an iPad case. Normally an iPad case will ma be made out of like one finish, especially when it comes to the exterior of the case. This has this like metallic looking polyurethane texture that gives you nice grip. But on the back, you can see the corners are made from plastic because this uses like a snap on the back style cradling system to secure the iPad into the case itself. Now again, it uses the same metallic kind of texture that the other Hornet Tech case, the Le Trois case that I reviewed uses. What's different though about this one is it's kind of grippy. It's like tacky feeling, which I like. It gives you a nice grip when you're holding it. So let's open up the case and insert the iPad inside. Grab my iPad here and place it inside the case. It snaps in quite nicely as you can see. Let's make sure it's all in there. Um, just like any snap on the back, you don't really have to worry about which way you go. Let's close it first and show you the outside. It has this strap, which you can flip around to secure the front flap closed. I like this. This is especially important with cases that use the sleep awake function built into the iPad. If you don't have this strap, sometimes when carrying cases like this, you'll notice that as you move the front flap around, the sleeper magnet activates the screen and you hear that like lock, unlock, lock, unlock sound over and over again. This secures the front flap down and ensures that won't happen. On the back, you can see all the cutouts and everything. Nice cutout there for the 30 pin connector perforation for the speaker. The strap kind of gets in the way, but you can move it out of the way and flip it around if you, you know, are using it closed and want to hear the speaker. On the side, nice generous cutout for the mute slash orientation slit switch and the volume rocker. And then cutouts all across the top, one for the sleep awake, one for the mic, and one for the headset jack. Again, there's a look at the perfectly sized rear facing camera. As I open the flap, Flip the case open, you immediately see it does work with the sleep awake function, which I prefer. This case has several different stand orientations. When you're not using it, there's a Velcro like strip that keeps the back of the case secure. But when you want to flip it up into stand mode, you have three different notches that you can stand this up into one, two, and three. And it uses like this little groove right here to wedge itself into the three notches. Now you can also use this in typing mode by like flipping the case around like so and kind of propping it up like this. And this becomes your ergonomic typing position. So this case essentially features four different stand modes, which is uh, a lot for most cases. There aren't that many cases that have four different stand modes. The interior of the case has a micro suede lining which will protect the screen of your new iPad while it's in here. And all in all, it's a nice case. My only complaint, it's a little bit on the thick side um, because of the combination of the polyurethane grippy metallic material along with the plastic snap on the back. You get like an extra layer which makes it a little thick, but uh, the trade-off is you get a nice amount of grip with this case. So that has been a brief look at the Hornet Tech Voyager case. Again, this is available in red, blue, and black with this brush metallic finish on Amazon right now for around $58. Check the link in the video description so you can learn more about this case. As always, if you have any questions about it, you know you can drop me a line. Otherwise, please have a great day. Please be sure to watch my two latest videos. Please like this video, leave a comment below, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more content.